guys, so today I'm going to be talking about something other than beauty or makeup because that stuff is only skin deep. Um, I just want viewers to be aware that, you know, your goal in life isn't shouldn't be to have the most makeup in the world or to be the best makeup guru in the world. I don't know. There's a lot more to life than just makeup and beauty and fashion and the way you look. Um, this is just a hobby of mine, but in no way do I take it super seriously in that. Like, I can't go a day without wearing makeup or, you know, I spend all my money on makeup products. Um, that's definitely not the case. Um, I made a, um, how to get over your ex video and, um, and, um, I really, really liked making that video because, I've been getting so many messages just every day of people telling me how like I helped them a lot through the process and that my video was really inspiring and that you know they want to see more videos like that um, and so on and I think that you know being able being able to empower people really makes me happy and I really want to do that and I think maybe through YouTube I can um, this video today is just going to be about how not to sell yourself short in terms of anything you do, whether it's work or, especially in this case, I guess I'm talking about is relationships. Um, you know, I was kind of struggling with this this morning because um, I found out that someone I was seeing was not a very good person or didn't have really good actions and. Um, You know, I was telling my friend about it, and she was, you know how girls are like, they they try to make excuses for everything, you know, like, oh, well, maybe, you know, he did this because of that, or maybe this or that, or blah, 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 and I feel like a lot of people try to justify people's wrongdoings and wrong actions, and I do think, you know, humans are human, and we do make mistakes, but I think there is a, there are certain mistakes that shouldn't be repeated and there are you know certain characteristics that you know are really huge red flags and you have that feeling in your gut that something's not right right and you shouldn't ever ignore that feeling in your gut um i just want to say that to all my viewers you guys are just everybody is special and i know that sounds really cliche but each and every one of us has something to offer and we have the ability to love and be loved and do really, really great things with our life and to really, really make a difference in someone else's life and to really care about people and all that. And if you find someone who doesn't respect that part of you, who doesn't think that you're worth getting to know or worth caring about or... Um, or anything like that, then don't don't waste your time. Don't sell yourself short. You don't need to settle for someone who treats you like something out of convenience or treats you like you're not important. You don't you shouldn't ever have to feel like you're not important to someone. And it's really hard. I know it's really hard because you have these expectations, you put this person on a pedestal and when you find out that he or she ha did this action to you, it like hurts like hell and you always want to make excuses at first and you want to try to make find ways to work, to make it work and all that. But, you know, honestly, be true to yourself and don't listen to what people have to say to justify him or her. Think to yourself, in my gut, do I feel like this is okay and this is right? Because in your gut, you know if something is up and if something is wrong. I have, I know what, when my gut hurts, I know when my stomach doesn't feel good because I don't feel safe or I don't feel secure or I don't feel like someone's treating me right and it, and it stresses me out. It's like the stress that's in my stomach and I'll get a headache later and everything will just be like really, really stressful and I'll be really anxious and I know that feeling because every time I get that feeling, something is up and something doesn't end well. And I have been aware to catch it on early because the further you prolong it, the further you ignore it, 
the worse it's going to get and you're just going to be devastated. And so when I felt this feeling, you know, this past weekend, I was just like, oh, this sucks. This sucks. It really sucks. Really, really sucks. <laughs> I really don't want to deal with it, but I know what's best for me and I don't want to sell myself short and I don't belong and I, and I shouldn't be with someone who makes me feel that way. And there, there it goes. So, um, it was kind of good to be able to say no and to take control of my life and to really listen to myself and not have someone else twiddling with my feelings. You know, you know those puppets, those puppets, those like, what do you call it? So it's with an M. You know those puppets on strings that, you know, puppeteers play? That's what sometimes I feel like, like when your gut doesn't feel right, you feel like, your feelings and your happiness control are dictated by someone else and and by the time I realized that I shouldn't be with this person anymore I felt free and I felt alive and yes it did hurt to kind of have to stand up for myself but you know now I just feel so much better like I can breathe and like I'm I'm okay and I have control over what's going on so girls and boys don't settle for anything less don't don't take up abuse. Don't put up with people. Don't put up with people who treat you badly. Don't put up with people who aren't loyal. Don't put up with people who can't communicate to you. Don't put up with people who don't want to, don't want the same things you do. Don't put up with people who say they'll change and never do. You know, don't put up with what people say. Put, don't put, put up, don't put up with what people do. <laughs> Saying and doing are two completely different things, okay? So if they say something that that is great, but they do something completely opposite, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. They don't understand what, what the difference is, and you don't want to be with someone like that. Each and every one of you deserves to be with someone who is great and amazing and doesn't cause you stress in your life. And who's really interested in you as a person, who really cares about you, and who will be there for when you need it. Each and every one of you deserves that. I'm not kidding. You deserve to be loved for, and you deserve to be cared for. You deserve to get, you know, hot soup when you're feeling sick, and you deserve to have a shoulder to cry on, and you deserve to be able to tell him or her, you know, your problems, and you deserve to be treated as someone really special because you are. And don't settle for anything less. And if you feel that feeling in your stomach where it just doesn't feel right, don't settle, don't settle, don't settle. Okay? It's so empowering to know what you want. And to know that something isn't right for you. And to be able to stand up for yourself. It's so great. I love that feeling. Okay? So when you feel that, go for it. Do it. Get that person out of your life and move on. There's so many other people out there who are really good people. Okay? So thanks, guys, for watching. And um, I wish you best of luck in things. And if you have any questions or need any kind of advice, please message me or comment below. Okay, thanks guys. Bye.